So when you see a, a sector graph, right? We're talking about a circular pie chart type thing, like this, okay? Now, I will point out, you don't actually have to draw a pie chart to do this question. Good morning. Um, but it's so much easier to visualize what's going on. If you just like a simple, draw a simple circle for yourself. Now, remember, if you draw in, like say, let's start our um, pie chart at 12 o'clock at noon. Okay, that's where I tend to start my, because it's a convenient start spot. If you start from there, yeah? Then going all the way around the circle, how many degrees is that? That's 360, right? So I need to know that number because my pie chart, my whole sector graph, should represent all of the different things all added up together so that I've got everyone all in one graph. So, good morning. 360 degrees, therefore, needs to represent whatever the sum of each of these is. Okay. So, okay, frequency, can you add it up with me? Uh, 3 and 6 is 9, plus 12 is 21, 26, and then 30, okay? So therefore, um, there should be, all the way around, those 360 degrees, I'm never going to write this, 360 degrees should represent 30, what are these things? Um, these are people, right? These are people, and they are traveling in a particular way. Okay, so 360 degrees, it represents 30 people. Okay, great. Now, um, from that, I could construct this entire graph by saying, well, if I don't have 30 people, if I only have, say, three people, that's all of the walkers, then what angle would match up to that? What would I have to divide this right-hand side by to get to three people? I divide by 10, right? So if I divided this by 10, I divide this by 10. So three people would become, good morning, 36 degrees. So that makes sense. You get your track out and you draw it, okay? But that was just a way to illustrate what's the approach, how do I think about answering this question. Now look at what it's asking. It says, uh, what's the angle for the sector that represents the bus people, okay? So how many of them are there? There are 12. So instead of going from here, probably what would be easiest for me is just think, okay, um, there's no neat number, no like nice whole number that I can divide this by to get 12, okay? So what I'll do is um, go back to thinking about ratios. I'm gonna use what we would call the unitary method. I'm gonna get this in terms of one person. Is that okay? Because then I can multiply it to whatever I like. So let's actually do this working now because this will be useful to us. 360 divided by 30 is... That's 12 degrees, right? 12 degrees for one person. So having gone down to one, I'm using one so that I can get back up to 12. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 12. Um, 12 times 12 is 144 degrees. Is that one of the answers? Cool, option D. Okay. Uh, there's one other thing you could have done just because, like, if this was a um, a free response question, short response, you have to work this out, of course. But just looking at this question, it happens to be multiple choice. So I could have done something a little bit cheap. If you have a look at the answers here, can you see we probably could have made a good guess as to the fact that it's this one as opposed to the other ones? How can we guess? Okay. Yeah. Look, it's like this guy is like more than double the size of the nearest. Um, the nearest other kind of transport, right? So therefore, it makes sense. You're going to get a huge angle for that. So this at least just confirmed our intuition. Does that make sense? Okay, wonderful. I've <coughs> sort of held your hand through number one. Do you reckon you could have a go at number two? I'm just going to draw for you, if you can't remember, what a divided bar chart, or a divided bar graph, what it looks like. It's exactly what it sounds like. You have a bar, and then you divide it up into certain sizes based on what they are proportionately. Basically, it's a bit like a sector graph if you sort of cut it apart and then rolled it all out, okay, or unrolled it, I should say. So think about that. You're going to have, instead of like degrees around the circle, you're going to have different lengths. That's what this question is asking about, okay? So good morning. Why don't you have a shot at number two? It's okay. Come see. Eliana was sick this morning. That's, 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 that's understandable. 
Thank you so much. Okay, so number two, number two. Have a think about it. You can use a very similar approach. You might like to draw yourself a rough one so you know what's going on. Think about what's all the way around. The question itself tells you. And then I'll apply a similar approach and see what answer you get out. Okay, so I'll give you a moment to gather yourself and have a go at number two. Okay, all right, let's, let's have a shot then. You can tell me what sort of working could I put down to try and start to unpack this. What might you put on the diagram, for instance? I just put 200 Okay, awesome. 200 millimeters equals 100%. Now, this is great. You can see, by the way, it's 100%. Um, she just picked it out perfectly because she's read out from here, like, what is this? What number is this about? Just like up here, we looked and we were like, oh, it's people, okay, who are traveling in different ways. Here's about percentage of total sales. So perfect, okay. Now we then look over and we say, well, which one of which one of these are they looking for? It's ladies' wear, right? So they want forty-five percent. Now again, unlike every other number, there's no neat number whole number I can divide this by to get to forty-five, right? So what might my next step step be? What can I do? What might I divide both sides by to get to something working? Yeah, I think divided by hundred would be great. That's kind of like a go-to option, because if you're not sure, just divide by however many number of units you have, because that'll get you to one. And from one, you can get anywhere you like. So having divided by 100, that tells me every 1% of sales represents two millimeters on my graph, right? 1% on the back hand side. Lovely. So then all I need to do is get to 45, so I'm gonna multiply both sides. <coughs> What do you think? Make sense? Happy? <coughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah? yeah? So as in now, presumably what I would do is I would go ahead, I would draw my thing out, I'd make sure that this is 20 centimeters long, and then I'd mark out my, um, my 9 centimeters, and that would be my you know, ladies wear sales, etc. Okay.